Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I've got pickups from Dollar Tree, Best Buy, Goodwill, and McKay's Used Books, and Walmart. All right. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, first, I'm gonna go over the Goodwill pickups that I did today. Um, first up is Follow That Bird. Uh, this is a Sesame Street. Uh, movie from 1985 I heard this is out of print but I had a good deal on it today so uh, next up is a movie with Michael Caine John Ritter Christopher Reeve and Carol Burnett it's called Noises Off <clears throat> this one's from doesn't say when it's from but it's 89 minutes uh, next one is whispers in the dark starring John Leguizamo and Anthony Lepiglia this one's from 92 101 minutes and rated R okay, that was it for goodwill Next one is a movie that I got from Walmart on DVD, but my brother found the Blu-ray today at Best Buy, so he got me the one for me. He got he bought it for me at Best Buy, so I did an upgrade. Jan Silent Bob reboot. This one's from 2019, 105 minutes, also rated R, starring Jason Mewes and Kevin Smith as Jan Silent Bob. And a bunch of cameos from other actors and actresses that have been in the other films as well. I haven't watched it yet, but I've heard good things about it. Okay, next up is the pickups I did at uh, Dollar Tree last week. Last Friday, I believe. I only found two titles. But uh, the first one is a three-film collection. Um, Alterscape. And it comes with two bonus movies, Hologram Man and The Silencers. And the other the other one I pick the other one I got was a 20 action movies pack uh, with some has some Chuck Norris films on it. As well as Steven Seagal movies, Bruce Lee and Richard Pryor and Roddy Piper. And then here's all the ones that are on it. Next up are all the all the, the ones I got from Walmart in the past couple days. Um, first thing I found was in the 374 bin. It's a double feature. Uh, they're family films. One is V8, Start Your Engines. And the second one is Wild Bunch on Ice. This is a Echo Bridge release. Um, V8, Start Your Engines is from 2013. And doesn't say if it's rated or not, and it's 106 minutes. And Wild Bunch on Ice is 93 minutes. Um, next up, I went. Next up, I went to the five dollar bin. It was overflow. It was overflowing with movies. So I, uh, obviously, I go look at it. Um, the first one is the Escape Plan collection. It has all three films. Escape Plan, Escape Plan 2, Hades, and Escape Plan, The Extractors. Uh, the first one has Arnold Schwarzenegger and um, Sylvester Stallone. The second one, you know, the second one has Sylvester Stallone and Dave Bautista. And the third one has, again, Sylvester Stallone and Dave Bautista. And all these are rated R. First one's 115 minutes from 2013. Second one's 94 minutes and from 2018. And the third one is 88 minutes from 2019. I already had the f first one in my collection, but this is a good one to have. I can have them all in one collection. 
Okay, next up is a three movie collection, the Friday movies. Um, I've only seen the first one, I haven't seen the other two, so it'd be a good watch. Um, it's got Ice Cube and Chris Tucker, Regina King and Bernie Mac and John Witherspoon in the first one. The second one has Mike Epps, John Witherspoon again. The third one has Ice Cube, Mike Epps, and John Witherspoon in it. All of them are rated R. Uh, the first one is... 97 minutes, the second one's 98 minutes, and the third one's 85 minutes. Okay. Next up is another family film collection. Uh, Matilda, Madeline, and Annie. I already have Annie in my collection, but it's good to have the other two movies. Uh, Matilda is a classic. Um, it's got Mara Wilson in it, as, long, uh, as well as Danny DeVito and uh, Ree Perlman. It's also got a cameo from Paul Rubens, you know, Pee Wee Herman. Um, Madeline has Francis McDormand in it. And I don't think I've seen that one before, but maybe I have. It's been a while. And the third one is Annie, and it stars Tim Curry, Bernadette Peters, and Albert Finney, and, and Carol Burnett, too. Next up is the Rush Hour Collection, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, this movie stars Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker on all three movies. Um, and the first one is from 98, the second one is from 2001, the third one is from 2007. They're all PG-13. There we go. Next up is Tom Hardy and Capone, uh, starring Tom Hardy as in uh, Kyle McLaughlin and Matt Dillon. Uh, this one's from 2019 and 85 minutes and rated R. Uh, next up is H.P. Lovecraft's uh, Color of the Space. Color Out of Space, excuse me. Starring Nicolas Cage. Uh, and it also has a guest appearance by Tommy Chung, which I thought was interesting. This one's from 2019 and 110 minutes. Next one is Fighting With My Family. Uh, starring Nick Frost, Dwayne, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Vince Vaughn, Florence Pugh, Lena Lena Headey and Jack Loudon. Loudon. Uh, this is a wrestling movie. Um, I've heard good things about it. It's PG-13 from 2019. Yeah, there's that one. Uh, next up is Force of Nature with Mel Gibson and Kate Bosworth and Emil Hirsch. Uh, I've heard I haven't heard anything about this movie, so I'm, I'm I'm going in blind. But we'll see. It looks pretty good from from what I see on the back of it too. The back. Uh, next up is a movie that I wanted to see for a while, and I finally found it for a good price. Uh, the House with the Clock in Its Walls with Jack Black. Also stars Kate Blanchett and Kyle MacLachlan. And it's directed by Eli Roth, surprisingly. Uh, PG, uh, movie's PG. And, uh, an hour and 45 minutes. Next up is a movie that I've heard good things about. I haven't seen it before, but it's got Shia LaBeouf and Dakota Johnson in it. It's called The Peanut Butter Falcon. It's from... 2019, 97 minutes. It also stars Bruce Dern, Thomas Hayden, and Thomas Hayden Church in it. <clears throat> uh, next up, um, I, I finally, I finally decided to get this movie. I've never seen it before, but um, a Star is Born with Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. Uh, I've heard good things about it. 
Uh, it also stars Dave Chappelle and Sam Elliott. And it's rated R, 136 minutes. It's a pretty long movie. Alright, next up is another movie that kind of was kind of intriguing for me. It's called uh, The Poison Rose, starring John Travolta, Morgan Freeman, and Brendan Fraser. Uh, this one's rated R as well. It's from 2019. And 98 minutes. Oh, and also stars uh, Famke Jansen from X-Men. Right. Last one from Walmart is Red Shoes and the Seven Dwarfs um, with the voices of Chloe Grace Moretz and Sam Claffin. I thought this one looked pretty good. It's from 2020 and it's 92 minutes. Right. That was it from Walmart. Now I'm going to get into all the ones I got from McKay's used books. I have a big box here, so it's going to be a little while. All right, first up is an upgrade for me. Um, Empire Records on Blu-ray. This one's from 1995 originally. Starring Debbie Mazar, Anthony La Plaglia, Maxwell Caulfield, Robin Tunney, Renee Zellweger, and Liv Tyler. Next up is a movie called Convicted, uh, starring Aiden Quinn, Kelly Preston, and Connie Nielsen. This movie's from 2005, 108 minutes, rated R. Next one is uh, Edges of Darkness. It's a zombie movie, so it's up most of our most of our alleys. Uh, I don't recognize anybody in the cast, but it's 87 minutes from 2008. Okay. Next up is a movie that has a pretty good cast, so I got it. Uh, Kate Beckinsdale, Angelica Houston, Nick Nolte, Uma Thurman. Madeline Potter, Jeremy Nordham, and James Fox. It's called The Golden Bowl. Um, this one's 131 minutes. That's a pretty long movie. Rated R, and it's from 2000. Next title has um, Lynn Shea from the... In Insidious movies. It also stars Seth Seth Pedersen, Bruce Davison, and Chad Donnella. It's called Hate Crime. Uh, the movie is from 2005. 104 minutes. Rated R. Next up is a movie starring Brian Cox, Brad Dorif from the Child's Play movies, and Frances McDormand. It's called Hidden Agenda. This is a thriller from MGM. Um, from 1990. Uh, an hour and 49 minutes. Rated R. Next up is a movie that I've wanted to see for a while now. I finally found it for a good price. It's a John Singleton movie. Um, it's called Higher Learning. Um, it's got Jennifer Connelly, Ice Cube, Omar Epps, Christy Swanson from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, who I've, who I've actually met before in a convention, uh, Lawrence Fishburne, Michael R Rappaport. This one's from 94, and it's 127 minutes and rated R. Next up is a Robert Wagner, uh, Robert Wagner uh, movie called The Hustle. Not to be confused with another movie called The Hustle that's more recent than this. Uh, this one's from 2001, um, and it's not rated in 100 minutes. Next up is an is an Agatha Christie. Movie, uh, 
well, movie based on Ath an, an Agatha Christie novel called The Mirror Cracked, starting and starring Angela Lansbury, Tony Curtis, Rock Hudson, Kim Novak, Elizabeth Taylor, Geraldine Chaplin. This movie is from 1980, and it's 105 minutes, and it's rated PG. Next up is a movie with Renee Zellweger and uh, Ewan McGregor called Miss Potter. Uh, this one's from 2007. No, 2006, I'm sorry. Rated PG and 93 minutes. Next up is a movie called Molly with Elizabeth Shue, Aaron Eckhart, Joe Hennessy, and uh, D.W. Muffet. This one's rated PG-13, an hour and 27 minutes. From 1998. Right, next movie is based on a true story. It's called Monster, and it stars... Uh, Christina Ricci and uh, Charlize Theron. This movie is from 2003, 109 minutes, rated R. All right, next up is a, is a movie starring Jamie Lee Curtis, Peter Gallagher, and Joanne Wally Kilmer called Mother's Boys. Rated R, uh, 96 minutes, and once again, it doesn't say what year it's from, but I, it says it's from the 90s on, on the back, so, yeah. Right. Next up is Mumford. Uh, it's got Jason Lee in it, uh, as well as Hope Davis. Martin Short, Pruitt Taylor Vince, and it's directed by um, by the guy who wrote Empire Strikes Back. At, believe it or not, um, Lawrence Castan, uh, 112 minutes, and doesn't say what year it's from on the back. Look at the inside here. Nope, doesn't say on the inside either. So I'll pull that up later. Just curious. Alright, next up is a movie starring, starring Scott Bakula, uh, Sinbad, Hector Elizondo, Kathy Ireland, and Harley Jane Kozak. It's called Necessary Roughness. It's a football, football comedy. Um... From 1991, PG-13, and 108 minutes. All right, next up is a horror movie starring Lauren Holly and Lance Hendrickson called Scream of the Banshee. It's an After Dark release. Uh, this one's from 2011 and 90 minutes. Rated R, and it's a horror. All right, next up. Steve Martin movie called A Simple Twist of Fate. It also stars uh, Catherine O'Hara from the Home Alone movies, Stephen Baldwin, and Ga uh, Gabrielle Byrne. Uh, PG-13, 106 minutes. Doesn't say what year it's from either. Guessing the 90s. Next up is a movie that has Brian Cox in it and Alan Rickman. Uh, along with Kate Nelligan and Kenneth Cranham. It's called Therese Requin. hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, this one is a British drama. It's a three-episode miniseries. And there's it's not rated. And it's 166 minutes from 20... Oh, no, excuse me, sorry. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's right, 2015. Next up 
uh, is a movie based on a book by Danielle Steele. It's called Vanished. And it stars George Hamilton and Lisa Rinna. Uh, the movie is 120 minutes, not rated. And it's from 1995. Okay, let me do some rearranging here. Okay, one more stack. Actually, no, I'm sorry. We have another stack and we have another small box. We have another small box also. Next up is We Don't Live Here Anymore, starring uh, Mark Ruffalo, Laura Dern, Naomi Watts, and Peter Krause. This movie's from 2004, rated R, 99 minutes. Okay, next one is a movie that has Rachel Weiss in it. It's called The Whistleblower, and it also stars Vanessa Redgrave and David Strathairn, hopefully I'm saying that name right. Uh, this movie's from 2010. It's rated R and it's 112 minutes. Um, next up is a movie that's way out of print that I found for a good price. It's called Why Do Fools Fall in Love? Uh, starring Halle Berry, Vivica A. Fox, uh, Lella Rochon, hope I'm saying that right, and Lorenz Tate. Uh, this movie's from 1998, rated R, 116 minutes. Right. Next up uh, is the original Wrong Turn. I know that the the reimagining one just came out last week. But um, I, I didn't have, I don't have any of my collection, so I figured why not, I'll buy it. Um, this one's from 2003, 84 minutes, rated R. And it's got Jeremy Sisto in it, yeah, along with Kevin Zeggers. So yeah, looking forward to watching this one by myself. All right, that was it for that McKay's run. I have another McKay's run, but it's smaller. And then I have uh, a box from me, Dollar Tree DVD on Instagram, AKA Larry and Melissa. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over that one too after I do this McKay's one here. All right. All right first up is a movie called ACOD, um, starring Catherine O'Hara, Amy Poehler, Jessica Alba, Jane Lynch. Adam Scott and Richard Jenkins. Uh, this movie's rated R. It's 87 minutes from 2013. Um, next up is a movie that I might already have, but I'm not sure. I, it was it was still factory sealed, sealed so I, I went ahead and got it anyway. It's got Dennis Quaid, Zac Efron, Heather Graham, Kim Dickens, and Clancy Brown in it. It's called At Any Price. It also comes with a digital code inside. Um, it's from 2013, rated R, and um, 104 minutes. Uh, next up is The Babysitter's Club. It's from the 90s. So it's 94 minutes, PG, 95 from 95. So, so that was a pretty cool find today. Uh, next up is a movie that has J uh, Julia Stiles in it, uh, along with Patty Considine, hopefully I'm saying that name right, called The Cry of the Owl. Uh, this one's from 2009, 99 minutes, rated R. Uh, next up is a movie called Drowning Mona, starring Danny DeVito, Bette Midler, Neff Campbell, and Jamie Lee Curtis. I thought that was a pretty good cast, so I went ahead and got it anyway. 
Uh, this movie is PG-13 from 2000 and um, 96 minutes. Also starring Casey Affleck. All right, next up is a double. Uh, the rest are double and triple features. All right, uh, so next up is the Craft and Wild Things double feature. I've had both of these before, but I, I don't know why I sold them, but I have them again. So there's that. Uh, the Craft is 101 minutes, rated R, and it's from, 90, from 1996. And it stars Nev Campbell, Robin Tooney, Rachel True, and Fairuza Balk. Hopefully I'm saying that name right. Um, the second movie is Wild Things. It stars Kevin Bacon, Matt Dillon, Nev Campbell, and Denise Richards. That one's also rated R, and it's 108 minutes. <clears throat> right, next up is... Um, a double feature of Footloose, the original, and the remake. I already have the original, but I didn't have the remake, so I went ahead and got it anyway. So, uh, Footloose, uh, the, the Footloose, the original, has Kevin Bacon in it. The remake of Footloose has Kenny uh, Wormald in it, along with Julianne Hu and Dennis Quaid, Andy, Mc, A A Andy McDowell. The original has Kevin Bacon, Laurie Singer, Diane West, and John Lithgow in it. And the original is from 84, the remake is from 2011. And they're both, and uh, the, the original is PG, the remake is PG-13. Because back then, they didn't have PG-13, they just had PG and R, so, yeah. Alright, next up is a double feature, uh, the original Inside Man with Dennis Hopper. And The Opium Connection, starring Yoel Briner and Rita Hayworth. No relation to me, so I'll let you guys know. There's that. Um, uh, Inside Man is from 84 and 90 minutes, and op Opium Connection is from 66, and it's 100 minutes. Both are in color. Right. Next one is a double feature, Maximum Overdrive, from Stephen King, and Raw Deal, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. I already had uh, Maximum Overdrive. I didn't have Raw Deal, so I went ahead and got that. Uh, Maximum Overdrive is written and directed by Stephen King, uh, starring Emilio Estevez and Pat Hingle, and Yardley Smith, who did the who does the voice of Lisa on The Simpsons. Uh, Raw Deal stars uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, along with a bunch of other names I don't even recognize. Um, Maximum Overdrive is 98 minutes, and Raw Deal is 106 minutes. They're both rated R. Okay, next up is a double feature, She's All That and Boys and Girls, both starring Freddie Finch Jr. Um, I didn't have Boys and Girls in my collection, but I have She's All That in my collection. Um, She's All That also stars Rachel Lee Cook, Matthew Lillard, and Paul Walker, um, along with Kevin Pollack and Kieran Culkin. And Usher, and and uh, Anna Paquin and Lil Kim. Uh, Boys and Girls stars Freddie Prinze Jr. and Claire uh, Frolani, uh, along with Jason Biggs and Heather Donahue. Uh, both those are PG-13. Uh, one's from 99, the other one's from 2000. 95 minutes, 93 minutes. Okay, uh, next up is the Sarah Jessica Parker triple feature. Um, as If Lucy Fell, Life Without Dick, and Striking Distance. I got it for Striking Distance because it's got Bruce Willis in it. Um, along with Tom Sizemore and Dennis Farina. Uh, Life Without Dick also has H Harry Connick Jr., Johnny Knoxville, and Craig Ferguson, and Terry Garr in it. Uh, if Lucy Fell has Ben Stiller in it, and, and uh, Elle McPherson. Um, all of these are, well... Okay, sorry. If Lucy fell with rated R, striking distance rated R, and then Life Without Dicks PG-13. Okay, so that's it for that. That's it for McKay's used books, which is a, which is a local bookstore in my area that I frequent. Okay, last one, last box. Uh, it's from Me Dollar Tree DVD on Instagram. You might want to check them out. They do a lot. Of, they do a lot of movie hunting. 
they came at uh, that Dollar Tree. So, I'll be one moment. Okay. All right. It's, I'm gonna do this randomly. Um, first movie is called Collider. Looks pretty interesting to me. Next one is Vampire Hunters. Uh, next up is November Criminals, starring Chloe Grace Moretz and Ansel Elgort. Uh, next one is Fear Incorporated. Uh, next one is Rogue Warrior Robot Fighter. Next one's Andy the Talking Hedgehog featuring Tara Reid. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have this in your collection, Joe and Marie, but I figured I'd get it. It's probably pretty awful, but you know, eh, we'll see. Uh, next one is Burning Kiss, which I think I might already have on a, on a multi pack, but I wasn't sure. Uh, next up is a parody, the Starving Games, making fun of Hunger Games. I uh, figured it was pretty cool to find this at uh, Dollar Tree. It's got uh, Deidre's Bader in it, which I thought was funny. Uh, next up is Downfall of a Champion. This is a French movie, French-Canadian movie. Uh, next up is a... Uh, Keegan Michael Key movie called Don't Think Twice. A lot of people found this at their Dollar Trees, but I wasn't able to find it. But I'm glad they found it for me. Um, next up is a multi. Um, I don't know if this is a film collection or it's a. No, it's a film collection and then a TV show collection. Um, it's got Betty White in Date with Angels, and it's also got The Adventures of Robin Hood, Christmas Goose. And it's also got other um, TV, TV show Christmas specials on it. Uh, next up is The Amazing Story of Superman. Got the original Super, Superman in it. Um, it's got the cartoon, it's got the Christopher Reeve version. Um, it's got sneak peeks from Superman Returns, so this is a pretty old one. Yeah. So yeah, there's that. Uh, Beast of the Water. Uh, I got a weird movie called The Schmitz. And then the last one is Sleeper Cell, The Algerian, which stars uh, Ben Youssef, Candace Coke. Harry Lennox from The Blacklist, and Sharon Ferguson. And that is everything I got from Me Dollar Tree DVD. Feel free to check them out on Instagram and give them some support. All right, that's everything that I have right to show off right now. So uh, feel free to like and subscribe, comment if you want to, and let me know if I need to improve on anything. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.